to Legally Speaking with me, Tarun Nangia. Today we are doing the show because Justice Jasmeet Singh, judge of the Delhi High Court, spoke on the POXO Act. And he spoke and made a very sensitive point that are we over-criminalizing adolescent love? And that is something which all uh, uh, we must be concerned about. Of course, he spoke a lot more on this issue, which my panelists can speak about, but it is basically over-criminalizing uh, adolescent love and the points we will discuss in the coming few minutes. Uh, I will introduce you to my panel. I have with me senior advocate Pramod Kumar Dube. He's a well-known criminal lawyer who uh, does all kinds of criminal matters, including financial crimes also. Good to see you and uh, looking forward to some interesting insights from your end. I have with me uh, Neha Nagpal. She's founding partner of NM Law Chambers, a law firm that specializes in, uh, among other things, uh, matters involving commercial, financial crimes, even criminal cases. Uh, she will bring in her expertise on this issue, uh, which she earlier also has spoken about. Uh, good to see you, Neha, and looking forward to some interesting insights from your end as well. Um, at the outset, uh, at the outset, uh, uh, we will go to Justice Jasmeet Singh speaking about a 17-year-old child, you know, there are 17 years and the other child is 20. And then there is, uh, if they go and have, in a sense, uh, a relationship and the fallout, I'll, 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 I'll go to Senior advocate Pramod Dubey to explain this issue. If you could go into what Justice Jasmeet Singh said and explain it. See, uh, Tarun, uh, Justice Jasmeet, Jasmeet Singh's judgment actually is a very welcome uh, approach and the decision that's the demand of the day uh, for the new criminal jurisprudence. Uh, one thing is very much clear from Justice uh, Jasmeet Singh's judgment. You have to see the legislative intent for the enactment of POSCO Act. Basically, what the POSCO Act is uh, sexual abuse of a minor by a major which, uh, who is having the criminal intent. So basically, this POSCO Act was meant for the criminalizing the act committed to the minor uh, by a person for their sexual lust and the sexual abuse and the various kind of the acts by the measure. Now, this judgment of Justice Jasmeet Singh is given the all together the new dimension and the new thought, ideology, and the philosophy in the criminal jurisprudence, it says that, see, if there is a young adult relationship. So two things is very much clear. First, young adult relationship. So you have to see the relationship. There is a, first, there is a difference between young adult relationship and the sexual abuse. If you see the sexual abuse, there is the word abuse with the sexual activity. So you have to intention to commit the sexual activity for the abuse of that relation. But here there's a young adult relationship that is the young love relationship. So there is, you, you know there is affection toward the uh, other sex by the male to female, female to the male, and they all are below the majority, they are below the 18 years, but they have the liking towards the each other. And they have the love and affection. For the love and affection, they have entered into a particular relation. So their relationship is not the criminal intent. Rather, you can say it is the pious relation. They are seeing each other, they are liking to each other. In that relation, they have entered into a physical relation that is called the sexual relation. So in adult, love relationship, there is no abuse, no blackmail, no trauma, nothing. It's a complete consensual relationship. But here is the rider. The law says if the person is minor, below the age of 18, the consent is immaterial. The consent cannot be considered because the law does not recognize the consent of the minor person. But you have to see the, the, see the consent. One thing is the legal aspect. The second aspect, Justice Jasmeet Singh judgment is balancing the right to dignity and right to the personal liberty. So there is a 
complete balance. We have other judgment of the, our own high court, but the coordinate bench, this is Sonata Sarma, where in the Mahesh Kumar, the bail was granted on the premises is the adult love relationship. But in the other judgment, Sakib Ahmad, the bail was rejected on the premises because in the later judgment, there was a blackmailing. So the person was blackmailing the minor girl. So bail was rejected. So my view here is it's a good move, welcome state, and we welcome this judgment of Justice Jasmeet. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that opening comment. I'll take this to Neha Nakpal from NM Law Chambers. Neha, two points. Justice Jasmeet Singh said that uh, uh, when two people fall in love and one is 17 years old and the other is 20 years old, technically both are adolescents. He also goes on to say, and I'll read it out verbatim, are we over-criminalizing adolescent love? This is an issue which, according to me, needs a look because there are cases where one child is 17, the other child is 20. They have fallen in love. The law says consent of a minor is no consent. But I personally feel that there is an issue which needs to be looked into and needs to be addressed, needs to be flagged. Now he goes on, and this is at a recent lecture where he was a chief guest. He also said that one of the most important issues I feel needs to be seen, needs to be looked, is adolescent love. Now, what happens is today we have criminalized sexual acts with children below 18 years. Now, adolescents are children who want to experiment, who want to be sexually active. Now, is a person between 16 and 18, where one is a child, where one child is 18, other child is 19 years, can they be equated with the same brush or can they be equated in the same scenario? And those, now this is very important, where a victim is 18 years and the offender is 30, 35 years. So... Adolescence is something needs to be looked at. Very, very nuanced point he's making where two people love each other are between 17 and 20. I mean, the other one is 35 and 18. Could you go into what Justice Jasmeet Singh said? Yes, absolutely. I think, Tarun, that uh, the statements made by Justice Jasmeet Singh um, speak of someone who's definitely, uh, you know, uh, concerned about society. He's I... obviously, uh, he's thought it through at, at various levels, because it's such a nuanced statement to have made. Not only are you sitting as a judge decoding the law, understanding the law, pronouncing a judgment, but one is also then seeing the cascading and the multiple layer of impact that it can have on society. Um, you know, if you if you you penalize or you punish adolescent love, you're scarring a child at the tender age of 17 or 20 or 21 for that matter, who's not even started their life. Are you then scarring them to take a path in life which is not going to be productive towards the GDP of a country? Or, I, or are you, is he then going to go down a path where he's negative towards society and create, becomes a law and order threat in the future? Um, you know, in 2015, post Nirbhaya, one of the outcome of Nirbhaya, the Nirbhaya rape case was the youngest uh, accused in that case at the on the date of the incident in uh, in December of uh, 2011 was a minor on the date of the incident. So he had to be tried under the uh, Juvenile Justice Act and not in court. Post that, there was a uh, amendment to the Juvenile Justice Act, which then said, even though somebody is a, a minor, in, as, not, as in not 18, but is between 16 and 18 and commits an offense, which is of a grave and <coughs> serious nature, the justice, juvenile justice board can then decide if the nature of the offense or the allegation against this accused person who is not a major is of such a nature that that child ought to be tried um, as a major uh, is, is a very vital development in the law. Uh, and I think those broad contours have to also be read in to be able to understand the context of which POSCO also came into being. And Mr. Dubey is absolutely right in, in that scenario. POSCO came into being post the signing of the convention of um, the, you know, the United Nations Convention on Child, uh, Child Rights. That was to protect children from sexual violence, from sexual attacks. And a lot of children in India have suffered and suffered in silence uh, when it comes to sexual attacks within, within the family, within known trusted people, uh, by uncles and by aunts. So the, 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 the objective of the act was to take care of that, not to um, you know, curtail people from getting into consensual relationships, not to, not to curtail the innocence of love. Uh, the innocence of love at that tender age. 
and i think it cannot be generalized you can't with a broad bro- brush you know just because um um it j- j- just because it's it's so uh, strictly worded it has to be and as most laws are interpreted case specific situation specific fact fact specific so i i do believe that it is definitely a huge social impact uh, statement it has to be give it it's it's time to mainstream that narrative and it's time to definitely for courts also to become uh, you know more sensitive to such issues point point very well taken i'll take this to senior advocate pramod dubey mr dubey we are speaking about trial which is one of your favorite subjects uh, because many senior advocates don't do trials but you know how to do it we know it so i think we'll ask you that question uh, what happens in a trial uh, justice jasmeet singh said is that the counsel of the accused has a duty to perform he says he has to be honest to his client who's the accused so his effort is to prove that the survivor is either lying or exaggerating the incident or the incident did not happen at all so that results in a kind of retraumatization or reliving the whole incident by the survivor this again is something which needs to be addressed because the criminal justice system requires the survivor to be cross examined the child has to be cross examined the counsel of the accused has to try and prove that so these are issues which are plaguing the system but need to be addressed i am sure we move forward things need to be done in this direction uh, could you in a sense explain what justice jasmeet singh is saying uh, for the viewer see tarun there are the cases and the categories of the cases at the outset what justice jasmeet singh is said that is the law of the land the counsel who are representing the clients this should not be the client centric they should basically they are, they are the official of the court they are there to extend their assistance for the development of the law factually and legally so rather you have to be personal assess the character and traumatize the witness it is not going to suffice your case you are not going to prove the innocence of a client and especially in the sexual abused cases it is the duty of the judge prosecutor and the defense counsel to protect the dignity of the prosecutrix and the victim and the, all the three organs prosecution defense and the judicial judges should must be sensitive toward the sexual abuse victim so and it has already been uh, laid down in bishaka there is a guidelines in bishaka and the the guidelines key what kind of the question you can ask and what kind of the cross examination you can conduct then the vulnerable witness then there is a room to examine the vulnerable witnesses and they could not be there so in at the end you have to bring the facts for the innocence of your client and for that there are multiple circumstances on the basis of which you can prove rather directly a casting any expression uh, again making the acute victim to suffer from the trauma remember everything so if this all should be avoided and we do respect the finding of justice just meeting and this is the actual the criminal jurisprudence you have to follow you have to maintain the dignity of the entire system and the victim is also the part of the society so being the officer of the court it is your burden duty to you also think over the psychology and the trauma of the victim and then you start your case not only that you you don't enter into the court in the hostile atmosphere and always ask the hostile question no not at all it is not the demand of the law it is not required you have to be very uh, sober and respectable and sensitive toward the sexual abuse victim 
point point well taken uh, i'll take this point now to advocate neha nagpal of nm law chambers in the first point that i made uh, i said justice jasmeet singh had spoken about a relationship between a 17 year old and a 20 year old and that of a 35 year old and say an 18 year old he also says this is an aspect which needs attention because the accused is more often than not not in a position to groom the child so that often results in acquittal the witnesses become hostile the trial takes a huge period of time so this is again one issue which we talk about rehabilitation all these issues need to be addressed that's one point that he made second he also spoke about how the child survivor needs to be integrated into the society and he made a few points could you explore into what is uh, in a sense uh, 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 the thinking of justice desmeet singh what is he trying to convey here a on the trial and b Uh, on the end of where he's speaking of a 35 year old and 18 year old see the whole process of how the trial takes place could you give us your opinion uh, and your experience so this is obviously coming from a place of being very sensitive to society the impact of the entire legal process so sorry the impact of this act um of sexual offense uh on a child and coupled with the entire process of um, you know trial and the the emotional physical mental psychological um impact that it has on um the child uh, so i think what he's trying to address he's trying to he's trying to address some very pertinent points one is that a the trial should definitely be time sensitive uh which has been a uh, you know sort of a, a discussion point for a very long period of time not just in in matters relating to sexual offenses but across the board but more particularly um you know in in especially uh, sensitive cases uh, such as uh, under the posco act secondly uh rehabilitation should not or compensation should not only happen at the end of the trial which is 5 years 6 years 3 years later at the time of filing of the charge sheet when you've gone beyond the stage of an fir and it's at least the investigation is conclusively held and offense is made out which is slightly more detailed than what an fir is uh an interim compensation ought to be made so that whatever physical mental um psychological help and aid <laughs> one follow up question sorry to interrupt you but i needed to get you on this one as well justice jasmeet singh last year also said that the intention of poxo was to protect children below 18 from sexual ex- exploitation but but it was never meant to criminalize consensual romantic relation between young adults after that he granted bail to a young man who was arrested by delhi police based on an fir filed by the father of a minor girl who accused him of raping and kidnapping his 17 year old daughter with intent to compel her into marriage the young man moved to court for bail stating that he was in custody uh, and of course uh, uh, then you know of course he uh, bailed him out so this is now uh, i mean this is much before this recent speech which we gave uh, 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 so could you reflect on that as well what is the essence of which he is trying to convey because the last year also he said it now also he spoken what is what is he trying to convey according to so it's obviously coming from a place tarun where it's it's a it's a problem in society it's it's a concern now in society and it's not just in the posco cases it's also happening in 376 rape cases where consent at a point is given and then people go file cases um but this is more specific and more focused on two young adults or two young sort of you know 17 year olds almost all um, late teens early adults who are uh, in that exploratory phase want to understand more of life want to explore a relationship you cannot crush their innocence by um by criminalizing it you know um, uh, so therefore this is definitely a very sensitive approach it's raising a it's raising the bar to uh, of a legal debate it's uh, sensitizing society it's also trying to generate awareness uh, 
amongst children that when you are you know getting into a physical relationship even at that tender age understand what is consent and the importance and significance of consent and i mean this particular case the 17 year old girl agreed that she willingly married the boy there was no pressure and that's why the boy got bailed out but the father filed the case presumably this i'll have to check but but going yeah. by the article i'm reading so i'll take this to uh, senior advocate pramod kumar yeah. dubey also the own uh, so far is judgment of justice just meet saying it's concern one thing i would like to make clear at the outset just in the matter where justice just meet saying passed the order where the girl was 17 year minor the girl was interviewed and justice just meet saying passed the order the each and every case would be decided on its own merit and the factor of circumstances it is not like the case where justice jasmeet singh has passed the blanket order saying that if the if the girl is minor and there is adult relationship the in each and every case the bail must be granted this is not the jurisprudence so, so are you saying that he said that more application of mind is necessary for these kind of cases of course because the matter is very sensitive in nature the matter is very sensitive in nature so you have to see whether it's a innocent relation between two adult under the love and affection or whether it is the sexual abuse like you are uh, try to mention ki the age of the minor is 17 years and the the boy and the man is of 35 years so if there is a gap in the age there is a guidelines laid down by justice mamani in dharmendra singh versus state can i can i ask you a simple question uh, 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 i'll take it to neha there after if the girl is 17 the boy is 20 they both get married and the father of the girl files a case what happens then see the 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 uh, consent of the father is immaterial the consent of the, see the con- of course the minor is not having the right is the right of the guardian see the right of the, the of course this is the right of the father because the minor is on the custody of the father so it protect the custody of the father the father's stake is there but if the the girl is 17 years and the contemporaneous is of the boy and they have entered into the love and there is a love and affection there is no sexual abuse there is neither any trauma nor any blackmailing nor any type of coercion or the black mailing for the entering into the mar- marital relation if these are not there there is no purpose for sending the person behind the bar number one number two point, 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 point. Uh, number two is very important the single uh, environment we are living in these days the development of the social media the s- development of the technology and the growth in the mind of the Uh, you can say the team is a they have not attained 18 years but they mentally matured they are capable to take take the decision of their well being so i i know age is the age is the one bar but the I, mental I, I, i take the same i i i got your point what you are saying in what context it i take the same point to neha lakpal uh, from nm law chambers neha uh, 17 years girl 20 years boy they fall in love and get married the father of the girl files a case in india in under law after 18 year an adult in practical life we all know how 20 year olds are seen by their parents in india uh, uh, we all know it i mean it, it need not be explained to any indian who is watching the show how they are taken to be we all know it uh, uh, could you decode this for us is this a dilemma in law also Yes, of course it is because every every case has to be decided on um, its specific facts, its specifics um, of uh, its own merits. The mental maturity of a sometimes a mental maturity of a thirteen year old could be a lot more than a eighteen year old or a seventeen year old, and similarly, that of a seventeen year old could be slightly more than an eighteen year old. It's not really your age after a point. Yes, for from the purpose of hormones, it's the age. but for the purpose of uh, determining maturity it's i think the experiences and exposure you have today most children at the age of 9 10 11 have access to social media 
have access to netflix have access to other ott platforms and what they know is very different from what um you know you and our generation knew so for a father of a 17 year old out of love and affection for his daughter to go file a case against the 20 year old uh, man his daughter has married may not in fact cannot amount to an a, a, an offense under any provision of law uh, more particularly 376 of the indian penal code or section 4612 of the posco act because where is the ill intent to cause any sexual offense or any violation or sexual violation it is an act of love essentially what makes a, a murder or what makes a, a culpable homicide not amounting to murder is the intent where is the mens rea here it's maybe an actus rea may be common but the mens rea is missing that does not complete a criminal but, but i I'll, i'll ask a practical i'll go to senior advocate for pramod kumar dubey ask him a question you, you can also comment on that 20 year old not earning money or barely earning money Carried gets married to a seventeen-year-old girl. Father so, of the girl Tarun, files a case. Tarun, in love and affection, there is no place for earning or no earning. This is the first thing. This is the feeling. This is the emotion. So you cannot equate feeling and emotion with the monetary thing. Number one. Number two. Time and again, we are trying. Me and Neha, we are trying to convince you. The question you are putting. there is a relation there is a difference between relationship and the offense okay the adult loving relationship this is the relationship between two individuals though they are minor one side is a minor girl is minor and the other is the offense offense is the criminal intent you have to commit the offense without the wishes of the person without the consent of the person i i i i i, I now have got your point loud and clear but i think we are out of time so we will take round of closing comments it should be on what justice jasmeet singh intended to convey uh, can we start with uh, senior advocate pramod dubey see in my opinion the judgment passed by justice jasmeet singh is a welcome step in the present scenario present environment It's looking into the consideration of the development in our society every day we are there is a development and we have to de- develop ourselves we have to come out from this uh, ongoing this customary things we have to be more mature and if the relationship is a pious relationship without any mensuri or without any ill intent it must be protected but if there is any kind of the suspicion in the relation that could be taken as per the law and there must and there must be again i would say balance between the right of accused and the dignity of the female point point well taken neha nagpal from nm law chambers your closing comment on what justice jasmeet singh the essence of what he said i think it's a, it's um, really about creating awareness at multiple layers a between um judiciary the judiciary whether it's the lower judiciary or even um, you know different high courts in society generally amongst um in schools i think it's most important for schools to start having this narrative as well to start creating this awareness um and it's 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 a very uh, important time because as 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 the um, social media is not going anywhere this exposure to uh you know um sex or um any any kind of sexual activity is only going to increase with time so i think to for, for um teenagers especially between the age of 13 to 16 17 have to be told what their rights are where they stand what position they should take and the importance of consent uh both to a male and to a female i think really what it comes down to is uh communicating starting the narrative on understanding the significance of con- of consent and the, what is the lack of consent and uh what is consent it doesn't have to just be by words it can also be by action and a lack of consent comes with a b c as um, legal consequences there is one thing i would like to say there must be the transparency and the trust between the minor ch- child children and the parents 
थैंक यू सो मच सीनियर एडवोकेट प्रमोद कुमार दुबे नेहा नागपाल फाउंडिंग पार्टनर ऑफ एन एम लॉ चेंबर्स अप्रिशिएट योर ज्वाइनिंग अस एंड अप्रिशिएट व्यूवर्स ट्यूनिंग ऑन दिस सेंसिटिव इशू थैंक यू सो वेरी मच For more such videos subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel hit the bell icon